looks quite the black now. Oh, look at all this look stuff. It's on the side of the road. Since she has all the colored categories. 50% off sticker price. This is all the Avon. Um... Oh, look at the look at the uranium glass. Oh, wow, yeah. Uranium glass. Look at this, Rory. Well, oh my, they have some cool stuff. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness, look at how cool that is. $20? Look at this, how neat. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? There's some really cool stuff. Some of the prices are a little bit high here. These are $12. A lot of neat stuff. Wow, this is like vintage heaven. The prices are really high. Let's see if we see anything really cool. I'll try to go slow so I don't make you guys see sick. Oh, how cute is she? Oh my gosh, how much is she? I don't see a price on her. I'll have to look in a minute. I don't know why I'm whispering. Look at this. Oh, good lord. There is tons of stuff in here. Dog, actually, it's a big planter, and it is twenty-three dollars royal copley. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. My name is Kathy, and um, I'm a seller on Instagram at Picasso Cat. I also have a Poshmark closet, and um, and that's it. And sometimes I sell things on YouTube. Uh, today, well, first of all, um, I just got back from vacation. I was gone for three weeks. We took a road trip to Minnesota, and that was a lot of fun. Um, but I am back, so I'm going to show you all the things that I bought on my trip to Minnesota. So, um, first stop that we did for thrifting was a yard sale. And that was um, in Duluth on London Road, and it was a beautiful house right on Lake Superior. And they were having a moving sale. And I only got a couple things there. Um, one of the items I got was this cute little witch. She's not vintage, but she's just a little shelf sitter. And I just thought she was adorable. So I picked her up. 
The other item I got was this little bag of Santas. It was only 75 cents. And they're little flocked Santas. Um, they're those little dancing Santas. So there's three like this. They're so cute. And then there's a little plastic one. Like a little pick. So I thought those were adorable. So I had to get those. And then my granddaughter got some little souvenirs there. Um, so then, where did I go? The next stop, we stopped at this, um, it was a roadside, like uh, antique flea market type place. They're there all the time and it's on the way um, to Silver, let's see, it's close to, between Silver Bay and, oh my gosh, it's right there in the North Shore, Lake Superior. And I cannot think of the name of it. I think I want to say between two harbors in Silver Bay. It's just, they're always there. And this is the first time we actually stopped there. Um, most of the prices were a little bit high. And the, the video I have in the beginning of this uh, tape is from there. Um, but she did have a dollar table. So I picked up this cute little figurine of a little baby and a lamb. I thought it was really cute. And I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure it's Japan, but I can't read the sticker. There's no chips or cracks on it and I thought it was really cute. So I picked that up. And then the only other thing I got was this McCoy book. And it is an older McCoy book, but it's still good for reference. And this was two dollars. This is, um, like I said, it's an older one. And I can't see what the date is on here, if I can find it. But I know the prices are different now. But um, but it's just good for reference, as I said earlier. Um, 1991. But it's got a lot of really nice pictures. And it may, might be helpful to identify some items. So, I, okay, I had to turn the fan on. Oh, it's so hot still. Um, it actually has cooled down. It's like down in the 90s, but the humidity is way up. We had tons of rain when we were gone. So everything is really grown and green. It's really pretty, um, but the humidity really stinks. So I think we're gonna be under 100 for the next week, but it's, it's gonna be like 98, 99. But with you with the humidity it just feels a lot hotter and just oh so muggy so anyways um we went to a goodwill and the goodwill on the outside this is downtown duluth is huge you, you think you're going into this ginormous goodwill but once you go inside it was very tiny and they really didn't have very much there but i did manage to find a couple items um and i'll show you what i got i got this cute little trinket box and it has this little um, mouse on it it's really cute and it's really good condition there's no chips or cracks I think it's um, oh, I forgot to take the tag off I think it's home go but I'm not positive that's what the bottom looks like but I just thought it was a cute cute little Christmas mouse so I picked that up there and the other item I got was this little Goble Bell. It was half price, so it'd be $2.50. And it's a little angel. And let me take her out of the box. She was in really good condition. And she's holding a little kitty cat. So I thought she was really cute. Wing, all in tag, little ornament you can hang her up. Or you could just set her on a shelf. I thought she was so cute. And it's 1997. Just so cute. Look at that. I hope you can see her face. It's so precious. And my uh, granddaughter spotted her. And then the other item I got at that Goodwill um, I guess I just got those two items. Oh. I got these brooches. 
and these were all $1.99 each. This is a uh, Sarah Coventry and it's a, a silver leaf, which I thought was really pretty. And then this one has no markings on it, but I thought it was really pretty with that um, loose stone in it. And then it has like little rhinestones around it. So I picked that up. And then this one is just absolutely gorgeous. I don't know, it looks like those uh, Swor Swor I can't even say it, Swarovski crystals maybe, or Czech crystals, or it could be, I've seen some people call it um, something, or I can't even say it, so I'm not even gonna try. But anyways, it's beautiful. There's no rhinestones are missing. Absolutely gorgeous. I think there is a mark on here, but I can't read it. So, um, I'm not going to take it off of here because it's too hard, but it may be barked. I'm just not sure. I have not been able to find another one like it. So if anybody knows, maybe they can put a comment down below. That'd be great. Um, so that was at the good. Oh, oh, and I also picked up this. I forgot. And it's a Fitz and Floyd Easter Bunny with a basket. I have one like it that I'm keeping for myself already. So this one will be up for sale. And I don't know if I'll wait until closer to Easter or if I'll sell it now, but if you're interested, it will be for sale. And then um, we went to an antique store in downtown Duluth. We were trying to find some thrift stores and it was on a Saturday and I can't believe that um, Salvation Army was closed on the weekends. They're only open Monday through Friday. They had a lot of awesome stuff in their window, but they were closed, so we couldn't go in there. Um, but we did go into this little uh, antique store, another antique store there, and um, I just got these two little dolls that I thought were cute. They did, he, it was very small store, he hardly had anything in there. But these were like, um, it was a dollar for the two of them. So I had to pick those up, and they're kind of rubbery, but um, just adorable. And then we went to a really large antique store and I just got a couple things there because some prices were good, some were not so good. But I picked up this darling little lamb. <coughs> Excuse me, this booth was, everything was 40% off. So it was marked 575 and it ended up being like a three something. And it's a little bank and it looks like a, a hobbyist piece or homemade project. But it's so cute. So cute, and I don't know if there's a date. Let me see. Um, looks like 19, 1995, 1295, 1995. I also picked up this tiny little red writing book. I think it was 50 cents plus 40% off. It was just a little tiny book. And I don't even know if this is vintage. I just thought it was cute. Makes a nice little um, package topper. 1992 for that. And I got this cute little Inesco. I think it's Inesco. Oh yeah, Inesco figurine. And it was made Taiwan and it's 19, I believe it's 1984. But look at how darling cute that is. That was just so stinking cute. I had to pick that up. And then I found these two little Redware cats. Um, I know at one time there was three of them. The chain is disconnected. Um, it seems like it's kind of short. So I might try to connect it or I might just sell it as is. As is. So it is uh, marked Japan, and no chips or cracks, and so cute. So I got those, and then the last thing I got there was this cute little elephant, and this was marked seventy-five cents, which was also, and it was plus it was forty percent off. They're just cute. There's no markings on it. Um, but then I realized when I got home, she never charged me for this guy, so he was actually free. 
Um, and then where my uh, sister-in-law has her cabin, there's this awesome store. And it was an old school house, really old school. And um, they have a big thrift store in there. And they also have like little shops in there, um, little gift shops. They have like a pottery studio. Um, they, I think they uh, have like sewing classes. They have um, just different things. And upstairs at that schoolhouse is homes for disabled and low income people. So it's really nice. So everything they sell goes to help, help people. They also have a food bank there. It's just an awesome, awesome place. And I can't remember the name of it. Um, maybe something here has that marking on it. I don't know. But they have um, downstairs in the basement area was fill a bag for a dollar. And if it didn't fit in the bag, then it was just a dollar. But um, I'll show you what I got. We went there two different times. So um, anyways, I just started picking things up. I don't even know what I got, but. Um, picked up this cute little bag. It's like velvet and it has um, like embroidery and little beads in there. And they called it something. It was made in India. And it's like for jewelry. It's like just a little jewelry holder. It's nice that you can put your bracelets there. And then it has a bunch of little zipper pockets. So that was one of the items I put in the bag. Um, this was another one and it's, I thought it was glass, but it's actually like a really hard plastic, I believe, but it's cute. It's a little, um, a little light goes in there and you can put it outside or wherever. So that was in the bag. I got this tin. And all these items that are in the tin, I gotta open this up. So there was this little ornament holder. I thought it had ornaments in there or ornament holders in there, but actually when I opened it up, I was surprised to find these weird little clips. And I don't know what they were for. It's got like a little ring on it and then just like a little alligator clip. So I'm not sure what it's for. I know my husband had an idea, but I didn't really know. But I actually got this for the box because I thought the box was really cool. Oops. Nice for display at Christmas. And then I just had this little button in it that said Cotton Centennial 1903 to 2008, I think. And then these little, little angels. <gasps> They're so cute. They're some kind of ceramic. They're just adorable. They have cute little faces on them. I think there's four of them and they're all in really good condition. So those, and, oh, this is for my, oh, my granddaughter got this. I have to give this to her that for her mother but it's a little angel and it says mothers are angels on earth so I have to remember to give that to her because she's gonna wonder where it is and then I just a little crochet hook and then um, this I believe goes on it like a pin cushion there is a little chip on it but you can make a pin cushion out of her there's little holes in there I got her and then these, um, they're brass napkin holders, and there was only three of them, but I thought those were nice. So, I believe that was everything for a dollar. Oh, wait a minute, one other item. And this little stainless steel tray that was made in Japan. So that was all in the bag for a dollar. That was pretty cool. And then 
Um, they also had items, you know, for sale throughout. And I picked up this cute little bird. This was $2, but it was the hand painted. Um, I don't know who makes it. Somebody wrote on the bottom of it in marker. Um, they wrote 80th Adam plus Amanda. But there is like a little heart on there, a little mark. I wasn't able to find it anywhere, but I got that. And then we picked up this little uh, shelf, like a little wire shelf. This was 50 cents. And I'm gonna put that somewhere. I'm not sure where yet. Oh, and also in the bag, <laughs> forgot about this, was this cute little sh uh, shelf. It's like a step ladder shelf. I guess you would hang it like this. Put little knickknacks on there, and then you could hang things. So that was also in the bag for a dollar. And I picked up this planter. It's a duck planter. It looks like another um, hobbyist piece. But I thought it was really cute. It looks like like watercolors, but it's glazed. And it's 1975 on the bottom. This was so greasy and gross when I bought it, but it's it's all cleaned up. And that will be for sale. And then um, I got this little head on a nest. I think this was two dollars. It's really cute. I have some like it, but it has a little bit of red cold paint that has come off on it. I got this little bunny, and it's Avon. It says "Ready for an Avon day," and I thought it was in good condition. I looked it over really good. Even my granddaughter looked good because she's my my eyes. And uh, then when I was showing it to my sister-in-law, she says, oh, it looks like something's broken right here. Like, oh my gosh, I didn't even see it, but it's so cute. And uh, I think it was like, I don't know if it was 75 cents or 50 cents, but. And then uh, the last thing I bought there I think it's the last thing was this little bunny and this was either 50 cents or 20 or 75 cents I can't remember my husband thinks it was uh, 50 cents but it's so heavy and I didn't know you know what it was it's like a satin glass well actually it is satin glass and I found out it's Fenton so it's a little Fenton bunny and let's see if this will show up it glows like the Dickens look at this so awesome. Can you believe that? I could not believe it. So that was my deal of the day. And then, um, oh, I also got this book there. I think this was 50 cents, Food Cures. It's not old. Oh, and this bag of ribbon was also, this was also in the bag for a dollar. So I got a lot of things. You know, that's a big bang for my, uh, big bang for the buck. Yeah. And then we went to a yard sale and I, this was in the free box. It's just a Scrabble game. But what I got it for was the letters. The little letters. That was free. And then my husband found at a yard sale for 50 cents, this little baby uh, planter. And it is McCoy. McCoy 591 and he loves McCoy so he was excited to find that but this probably will go for sale I don't know we'll see so it is a baby planter so I think that was everything if I missed anything so yeah um, that was all so anyways, um, tell me what you think. If What's your favorite item? If there's anything you're interested in purchasing, let me know. Um, I haven't researched a lot of stuff, so I don't know what to price things at yet, but um, there's some things I'll keep, like the Christmas items, and some things I'll sell. So anyways, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video.